than the, 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 the parts. The parts. Mm. Has a lift, a lift area. So, do you have a model for this one? Whether it's got load. Yeah. Look here. Yeah. Check the dead load with you. Let's see that's the dead load, the lying load. Let us see. Okay, check, 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 do the dead load to see if it is a change. So let's go back to so we want to insert the lift shaft, but you have the the um, architectural for this one. So can you look at it and see how or do you have it in the template? Which one? Open the template and in parts. Okay, here we are. If you look at this area. This is just staircase, isn't it? Yeah. But let's assume it was a lift shaft with an entrance on this side. Yeah. So we assume it was a lift shaft with an entrance on this side. So <coughs> the first thing I have noticed with this template is that for you to properly do a lift shaft, you need to have this 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 area also subdivided because uh, you are going to have a wall here that is going to have shelves you see mm -hmm. you are going to have a wall this side mm -hmm. and the wall needs nodes and the beams to connect mm -hmm. so <clears throat> we are going to kind of uh, look for subdivide this also mm -hmm. to have nodes here here there is already a node yeah. Mm, yeah, there's already a node. So we could go to this one. Ah, you already subdivided. Yeah, I did. Okay, fine. So because one I can actually and then that beam uh -huh. that beam could be That's correct. That's correct. Uh, so so <clears throat> we want to do a wall here. Yeah. We want to do a wall. So <clears throat> So, so we are going to do to come this to come to this icon there that there's an there's a place for wall. So, so what's the floor to floor height? What is the floor to floor height? Uh, so you, you can check it from the model. Yes. If I place this here, I can read. Here y is zero, but if I place it there, I can read. Settings okay. So show that here. So should change here. The moment you go somewhere there, 
you should show this and this and add to this design thing constant you see so change and you are in order of encapsulate sometimes you change to So that is zero x is the uh, y is negative. So the float flow height is is three meters. So I'll come to this place and then my wall is three meters, but I'm going to put negative three because it's going downwards. So horizontal edge, I'm going to put one shell, vertical edge. Because it's three meters by five hundred, uh, this is six shells. Three meter divided by five hundred. So it's six shells. So uh, I do six shells. That is three meters. Uh, the opening you can make it uh, either two point one or two point four. Yeah, and you start this one. This one, you come here. And you key in. Okay, so <coughs> then what? Uh, mm. What's whole edge? Yes, horizontal edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, one shell. One shell. Uh, vertical edge, six shells. Why is it this? Because I'm going to demonstrate. You will see that. So this is the material of the wall. This is using plastic with fiber or concrete. Yeah. Shell thickness or the wall thickness is two, 200. Yeah. So now you ask about the wall and the six. I'll look here. I'll do this. Here is a one shell by six. Yeah. So you divided the 300. So I'm going to continue doing my my my, my walls for the lid. have divided this one much smaller divisions subdivisions more subdivisions but it's okay let's work with it like this this one this and this and this at least you should have uh, four subdivisions maybe yeah. so that we have similar sizes Place, eh? yeah. We get it to that place. Okay, fine. So we are going to remove those others. So we continue from here. Yeah. It's changing the color because of the thickness of the wall. Thickness. It's different thickness. So it gives every thickness. Every thickness, different color. And if you have a diff every thickness property, a different properties, like if the material is different, it's going to be different color. If the thickness is different, okay. it's going to be different color. So, we have done the lift chart at that level. So, we delete these two. Yeah, we're going to do this, delete the two. Let me view the logo now. Logo now. Just 
Four meter, mm -hmm. it's like a uh, eight, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. What? If it's four meter, those are going to be eight subdivisions. So let me do that again. So I put on this one. I'm doing walls. start afresh So when it's like that, you have your lift shaft, shells for the lift shaft. But you see, there's there's the lift shaft that has an opening. Yeah. So you have to plan your shells such that the, the, the space for the opening yeah. is catered for. You see, space for the opening. So you arrange your shells in such a way that from one node to the other, is the opening. Okay. What do you mean the opening? A door to the oh. to, to the lift shaft. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. It's not all concrete as a place, it's yes. as a, an opening. Yeah. So let's assume our opening is this one, two, three, four yeah. shells. How much is that? Two, two meter. Yeah. Let's say the entire two meter is the opening. Yeah. So you plan in such a way yeah. that one node and another one should be in line meter. Meter. with the size of the door. Yeah. So you plan it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do the opening. Now let's do the opening. There are many ways of doing that, but I can use the easier one. Yeah. Let me cut a section through this wall. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at our axis, our wall is at X is, let me bring the cursor here again. Why is it not? I have to go here, go back and so that I activate it. So, if I put my, my, my cursor there, yeah. X is, look at here, yeah. X is 12.999. Oh. So, I come to 12.999. Is twelve point nine nine. And then I cut a thin plane. Two point one mm. X X. Apply and view from X. This is the side of the wall yeah. where we need a door. Yeah. You see. So I'm going to pick these shells, the entire that area. Let me just put these shells here. I'm going to pick this area and I delete. 
So I have a dog. So you are living here. Uh, I've left the dog one year. I understand. I understand. <laughs> so let's get out of the the plane. So it's like that. It's easy this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you stand like that. The blade you cut. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to cut from mm -hmm. all together. Cut mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may delete something else. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, basically, that is how you get to look at the 3D. The loading. The loading center. Mm -hmm. it, the, the lift shaft receives load yeah. from the rest of the structure. Back to columns. Yes. You see, that's your lift shaft. No. Yeah. It's just like the columns it receives load from the rest of the of the structure. So they are not giving a specific load to the lead. No, it gets from this Same lead. Like, that's like the column. Yes, yes. That way you extract information from it. So let's say our building was. Uh, let me delete these nodes. Let's say our building was uh, four stories up. You see, yeah. our building was four stories. So I'm going to pick the entire building and add four more stories. Right. So add three more. Uh, so we add three more spacing of uh, what, uh, three, three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so for the floor, the floor is three meters. Number of increments are three. Yeah. I hope the model was running. Yeah. Mm. So there we are. Let's see. With our lift shaft in place. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. With our lift shaft in place there. Yeah. The lift shaft is in place. See all the doors. Mm. Also here. And if you can look at it in 3D. <clears throat> all the doors are in place. You see, yeah. all the openings are in place. So let's run the analysis. Oh, what's the issue? Is an error? Section five has not been used. Two hundred by four hundred is a beam element. Hmm. Okay, let's remove it and try. The analysis is completed. We're just assuming everything else was okay. Yeah. So this is your analysis. Let's look at um, had you had you set the reinforcement? Yes, you had set the reinforcement. Okay. So <coughs> so let's what we should have done also is to isolate the lift shaft as a different element so that to isolate the lift shaft so that we can in a different group we put it yeah. in its own group so that we are able to assess it separately you get the point uh, so i am going to pick it from here because the lift, the lift shaft walls yeah. are this one this one It's salad. It okay. is. It is because we are looking at it orthogonally. Yeah. Let's see. Was it that far? Oh no, it was at this point. So it's selected. You see? Yeah. Yes, there's something else I've selected. I've noticed. Yeah. There's a small thing you can. Actually, it's this thing. So I've selected this by mistake. And this one. And this one. And this one. Yes. So this one, I'm going to give them a different group. 
when I come here, I give a different group number. Let's say 21. Do you have a 21? Yes. 22. Is it? Yes. 22. Exchange group number only. Apply. Mm -hmm. So I've applied. This is very good now. So we are able to isolate the lift shaft alone and assess it. Let's yeah. see. Let's see the perspective of it. So we are able to isolate the lift shaft alone and assess it. So output and reinforcement. So we'll go wall by wall. Yeah. We'll go wall by wall. Eh? Let's look go wall by wall. So the modeler we are assessing the lift shaft of different walls. So this is the, the, the wall, sir. Yeah. So which wall do you want us to start with? Uh, this one. Let's start with this one. So this wall, we are viewing it Z. Z is this side. If you stand here, if you look at this Z, Z direction, Z axis, it's going this way. So if you stand here, you're standing in Z. So this wall we are viewing it from Z. So Z is going to give us the direction. So this one will be X. This X one. is going this way. So this wall will be X. Yes, this one. If you view this wall, you are standing in X. Yeah, and that side and this one. And this one, if you view it, you view from here. You are still standing in Z. Yeah. So this one, you're also seeing it when you're here. You are still seeing it from X. So <coughs> we look at this wall. So, what is the position of that wall? Come here again, put your cursor there. If you see, it is at this position. Sorry, at this position uh, Z. Look at the Z. Z is negative 5.3. So, we cut our plane at negative 5.3 for Z. Apply. View from Z. So this is the wall. Yeah. So we want to look at the reinforcement for this wall. So <coughs> output reinforcement. Uh, let me make this a bit thicker. Uh, 0.2. Apply. And Z. Apply. Okay. This is your wall. Can you see? Yeah. So <coughs> We want to check. We want to check this wall. What kind of reinforcement is going to work yeah. for this wall? I hope your settings here were, were properly set. Eh? Mm. So let's assume everything is okay. Output reinforcement, and then here we are looking at dot combination one or the en envelope. Okay. So let's say this is this is the graph we are being given. Yeah. Top is near face. We are standing in Z, the face near you yeah. of the wall. There's a for the wall, there's a face so near you now, and they are outer the first one. Yeah. The, not mm -hmm. outer one, the one far from you. Yeah. Yes, see. So like this screen, this is the near face, this mm -hmm. is the far face. Yeah. Which you are standing in Z. Yeah. So the near face. Here is going to be identified as the top face. Okay, so from X to top. top. Just first of all, the top. Yeah. Top face, the near face is top yeah. face. Yeah. Now, X is reinforcement going in X direction. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So it means horizontal reinforcement. Yes. Now, top Y. Reinforcement on near face. Vertical, I see. You see, yeah. so we can try. Let's say <coughs> I want to know what kind of reinforcement to use on this wall. I say I want to try if y10 at 200 is going to work. Yeah. So our y10, the area of our y10, one is 78. 0.5 millimeter 
square here. So if I have maybe at 200, there are going to be 5 of them times 5. This is 392.5, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try by 10 at 200. I just key here. 392.5. Can you see? And I show. That is going to work. Isn't it? Oh, That's going to work because the entire wall, if it do not work, it's going to show. Let's try. Let's say Y8 eh? yeah. at 200. Now, now this one you you multiply it. Uh, you divide it uh, the wall. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when you get a meter in one meter at two hundred. Isn't it? Yeah. In, per meter. in per meter, you are going to have a rebar here. Two, three, four, five, five of them. One is a yeah, per meter is 78.5. So let us tell you by eight. By eight, one by eight is 50. Yeah. Two times five is going to be two. Fifteen. Uh, so three times five is going to be two. So I'm coming here and I change to 50. What's the minimum value? You keep trying by 80 to 200 still you work for top in y direction. Seems if, it, if it doesn't work. So I want to ask you to see what doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, How it's so true. at 300 maybe. By 8 at 300. Yeah. It's going to be in a meter, they are going to be a thousand. Divided by 300 singular times 50. How much is that? Hmm. Let's ask him to start. Hmm. So <clears throat> let's say we had a value that maybe would get us to 100 maybe. So for 100, your reinforcement will not work. Yes. So see. that's what I will see. It will not work here. Yeah. If you add something like 50, for example, it will not work at the top. It will not work here. It will not yeah. work here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the top is the one near to you. Near, near X yes. and Y. Yeah. Horizontal to vertical. Yeah. And the far one from you. The other side of the wall, the same wall, mm -hmm. is the bottom. Yeah. Is the bottom. Bottom. So let's check the far side. Yeah. We have looked at the <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's look at the far side. The far side is the bottom. So bottom horizontal x. Again, if you use this, it will not work here. You will have failure here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to not work it <laughs> to not work there mm. but if you had maybe millimeter square per, per millimeter square per meter of maybe a hundred yeah? it's a small value but we're just checking it would work so it means this lift shaft has very little stress mm. very little normally we go twelve this mm. piece of 200. Mm. 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 So this, this is the bottom horizon and Y. Mm. And so, so let's just start now. That is it. Mm. <laughs> Can you do the retaining wall? So let's look at the other walls first. Okay. Look at the other wall. We want to look at this. The one wall with the open with the yeah. one with the opening. Yeah. So the one with the opening, how far is it from the origin? Origin is mm, let's say it is at this point here to the to the to the to, to, that is twelve point nine nine nine, mm. isn't it? Or you could still con check that from here. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Get out of the plane. You could put your cursor here and check the the X. 
this one it is a 12.999 against 7.10 isn't it so i'm going to cut a plane at 12.99 that time you are cutting cut that's it no you are cutting yes yes for this one this one mm -hmm. okay. so i apply close view view from x so this is the way that you are opening this yeah. so let's go back here and check what reinforcement is going to work now this one is going, not going to work at this point this one 100 will not work at this point yeah. it will not work at these areas you see yeah. um, it will not work so <clears throat> you can try uh, what do we try maybe 150 <laughs> show so 150 still not very good 200 show just passes yeah. mm. <laughs> this is the bottom the far face let's check the near face vertical bars that is top y this is just okay again. oh this top is the near one top near yeah. bottom bottom far, far. Yeah. Just that. And we are analyzing the load combination with the envelope. Always. Uh, all, always the envelope. Uh, but now we just have one load combination. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's your dish. That's a little shot. It's very easy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I can add to my model. You see what, mm. what I'm thinking? Once we cover all these uh, small, small things, mm -hmm. uh, what do we do? One model together. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It has everything. Yes. We do it together from A to Z. We detail it. Mm -hmm. As we finish, we, we block it. Mm -hmm. We copy it. We can do it still. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. trying now. This one is easier. Flux now. Or the retain wall you're telling us formulas. If there are a few formulas there. So which one is easier we can cover? The flat slab is easier. But the flat slab is so easy. It's just a slab without beams. For analysis, for modeling, yeah, the slab without beams. That is good for a slab. The team will be doing it more. Okay. Do you want to save this one? Yeah, just stay for me. Okay. So let's say it's the same building. Yeah. But we want this slab flat. For at least. Let's see. So it's the same model. You want okay because maybe sometimes you can do mixture plus slabs and where some places you have beams yeah. for purposes of learning you just want to make all the slabs flat yeah. 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 so let's get out of here there yeah. so we consider this whole building is flat slab yes we, we delete the beams or what yeah just remove okay. <laughs> we delete the beams but before we delete the beams mm. before we delete the beams it's important to let's do one 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 section flat slab the other sec the other one floor flat slab so that we're able to compare yeah. the one that is flat and the one that's not flat yeah. so let's do the lower floor a flat slab so at zero y is zero zero apply so <clears throat> this is the floor so let's look at the beams that we want to remove 
this one. Yeah. All of the good thing is I've selected it. It's easy yes. to, to delete. Yes, yes. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> the advantage of isolation mm -hmm. using different pens and people mm -hmm. and coming to to, mm -hmm. to, to frame analyze and have a mm -hmm. uh, group. Yes. We make things easier that is to good. delete, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's pick these ones and then delete. So <coughs> if you analyze this slab to a fail, yeah. 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 What do you think there? Absolutely. If you analyze this building or oh, this if you analyze, that slab will not survive. Yeah. But you increase the thickness until it works. There are errors. What errors? These beams don't exist. So we come to input beams. Beams, explode beams, explode beams, and I'm not saying there's another error. Some loads which don't exist input beam loads. So slow, beams had some loads. So explode beam loads. Explode means uh, uh, remove unnecessary data. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, okay, still analyzing. I hope it's still recording sound. Yes, I think. Mm. It will beep. Oh, it is going to beep. Eh? Yeah. Mm. It will do more than just movement. Is it analyzing? Yes, it is it. You are loaded it. Mm. Okay, so let's look at reinforcement. <coughs> so that slab, as it is, it's going to fade in many areas yeah. with this reinforcement. So we quite and such 200 it's going to be 392.5 to still fail in very many areas you see so tops at 200 maybe first if you, you increase the enforcement then that will force you to mm -hmm. this section mm -hmm. so we we check mm -hmm. Let's, let's keep checking the way it is first. I'm surprised that it's passing. Maybe this it's having to like the, the, the thickness. Okay, let's increase the, the reinforcement again and see. If we need 12s, 12s at 200, that's going to be 113 times 5. How much is that to have a calculator? I 